Hey guys and welcome to today's um, little video. Um, hope you are well. I am Miss Danielle and I am going to talk you through my hair straightening process. Yes, you heard it. I'm running out of ideas with my YouTube channel so I thought I'd do this. The next video is going to be um, my best beauty products and what I'm using and loving right now. Um, and I might do a Q&A. So, Without further ado, let's get on to the video. Right, so my hair is so thick and it goes so, so wavy. So I usually section it into, I think it's about three sections. I always give it a good brush because as you can tell, it's got quite long through lockdown. So I use just the GHDs, which I've had for quite a while now um but i don't think i'd buy anything else to be fair so i just start by getting the smaller sections and go really slow all the way down to the bottom i don't like having curls on the edges i like it quite straight but with my hair being national nationally naturally curly naturally curly i always try and get them out but it's not always that easy to be fair is it let's be let's be honest <laughs> i think i'm just going to shut up before i start um so yeah that's how i section my hair off i don't do it in all pretty little sections or anything i just i think you get to the point where you just know your own hair you know what sections you need so yeah but i do tend to do obviously the bottom if you've not straightened your hair before like who was not ever straight in the hair but you just don't know so there there's my bottom section done let's just get those straggly ends that i am going to cut off later let's just get that there we go like that <clears throat> so then i go for my next section so I'll put it down, grip it up. So I go about to, I don't know, near enough the crown of my head. Let me just get that bit, bit down. There we go. Again, just ruffle that bit up and clip it. And then there we go. We've got another section to be done. It doesn't take actually that yet long. Um, I've obviously just washed my hair and the product I use is... The VO5 blow, Sleek Blow Dry Spray. I actually love the VO5 products. I use this one. And wait a minute. And I've also got the Volume Blow Dry Spray. Now I use this if I'm going on a night out. I found if I use this and tip my head upside down and spray, not too close to the roots because Hey, oh, what's all this about? <laughs> Not too close to the roots because it does make it go greasy. So just quite far away and just spritz it on. Dry hair upside down because that gives it volume and nobody wants flat flipping hair. So yeah, that's what I use. For an everyday look, I don't use that much product on my hair. I just use the spray because I, I hate putting products in my hair. Um... But obviously, I have to because it's so long and it's took me such a long time to get it in a good condition. I mean, it does annoy me and I would love to have it cut short, but I'm tangled. But I wait. I've waited so long to have nice long hair that if I cut it, I know I'm going to instant regret it. And then I'm going to have to go for extensions. And I have got quite a few extensions and i don't use them for the length obviously my end my hair is really long now um but i use it for the like volume to make my hair look really thick not like it needs any encouragement whatsoever because it's already really thick but i think on a night out it does make it look nice um so yeah that's that I just make sure I go quite to the root and then just go, if you can see, really slowly down the length of the air, not too close to the roots, 
because I think it adds to the volume um, but yeah just go all the way down nice and slow I even just get a big clump like obviously I'm not doing much today I'm just filming most of the day and editing it editing videos and stuff so but my hair was like a bird's nest and it needed washing so I thought why am I here getting ready I might as well do a come and get ready with me um so yeah that's my next section done so just get that out of the way and I'm so hot and my top looks make Julie creased and for a reason being I've brought the crease remover the Lenore and if you've not used it you are completely missing out I mean I'm due to go away in four weeks yes I know I'm risking going on a plane but I hate ironing obviously I'll iron all the clothes that we've brought so far for the holiday before we go um but they always get creased in obviously transport to your destination in your case um even though I fasten my cases and stuff it still gets such creases so I'm gonna take some ironing spray with me and just spritz up my clothes while I'm out there then that gives me more time for somebody then and doing basically nothing so yeah there we are right my fringe I'm, a, I'm in a bit of a dilemma with my hair at the minute I will be honest because I've grown my fringe out over the last year or so because I wanted quite a longish fringe but now it's getting really long I used to have I've got something in my hair what the hell is that just a piece of white fluff off the towel no doubt anyway I used to have like a side sweeping fringe and which I used to love um but I got bored so I grew it out so now I don't know if to have another one or just leave it I kind of just go from a middle part and I mean I'm quite lucky with my hair because I can have any part and I want really it just naturally falls in any direction I've got flyaway hair so it wouldn't be that hard to get one back in it and it would stay over but I don't know what do you guys think shall I cut it shorter or shall I just leave it the way it is and let it keep growing or what what do I do I don't know I mean, as you can see it really doesn't take long to do my hair it's not perfect I'm not going anywhere at all today so I just need to just get some of the frizz out by using my straighteners straighten the hair and this will last a few days now I'm down to washing my hair probably once a week twice if it's lucky just because through lockdown I've got a bit lazy well I say not lazy actually I think it was more boredom so I was obviously washing my hair a lot more and straightening it and that just pass a bit of time but I noticed my hair was going dead dead greasy like so fast so I stopped and went back to just washing it once or twice a week yeah it sounds disgusting but your hair stays long lovely for longer and in much better condition if you don't overwash it like now my hair only gets greasy on probably day three day four maybe so then i just obviously dry shampoo dry shampoo is just my go-to all the time now i've seen on somebody else's youtube video that they are a little hack here for you that you put your dry shampoo in at night because apparently the product works better into your hair so i've tried it a few times and oh my god what a game changer it actually flipping works like who would have thought but yeah so if you do use your dry shampoo i've got a blemish and i've got a spot but anyway if you use your dry shampoo and use it obviously before you go out or when you're getting ready or whatever try it the night before just use it as normal all i did use it as normal <laughs> use it as normal but um use it at night before you go out honestly you will be amazed absolutely amazed with 
the results it works so much better and as you can see my hair is in lovely condition now like it's amazing i just want to share one more thing with you so i was out looking for some date not no, blah, 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 day cream and i came across <clears throat> now she's chucked it on the floor hang on and she came across the ole focus focus ole seven in one featherweight moisturizer oh my god and not only that but it has spf 15 in it which with the weather we've had recently we honestly do need so i've been using it for ages now and i'm impressed i still use my bb cream um but i alternate between that and this and yeah it is so good um it's so light so wearable obviously duh um you can i think use it underneath your makeup but i use it just on its own because i'm trying to get my skin to be really really nice because of our holiday and just boredom really you know how it goes but yeah that's what i'm gonna do anyway i'm gonna go i will see you in my next video so if you want some more videos just like this please 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 hit that little subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell for when i go i'll just say live when i upload my next video and you'll get a notification also guys make sure you share 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 my little videos to help our channel grow because that is my mission for the year right guys i've been miss danielle i love you lots and i will see you in my next video goodbye